Welcome back. We are trying to understand cancer. We're trying to see what causes it, what you can do to fight it, how can you prevent it, what the possible cures are. Let's try and understand the enemy, in a sense, because that's the best way to beat the enemy. But joining us now, we have Diana Hiddens with us, who's uh, lost her grandmother uh, to breast cancer. I do. You know, you know, we've been talking, uh, Diana, about the fact that <coughs> Every one of us, if you look around at your immediate family, at friends, a number of people who have got it, yep. it's, it's actually uh, increasingly becoming frightening. So we're going to get you to tell your story Absolutely. also. Sure. Uh, Dr. Dr. Jagannath is with us, who is the chairman of the Department of Oncology at the Leelavati Hospital and Research. And Raheja also. Uh, yes, of Raheja course. Raheja Fortis, yeah. Raheja Fortis as well. So great to have you with us and, and you. You know, shed some light on what you're doing to, to, to fight it. And we, we do have uh, little Swarang out there who's uh, survived cancer, fought it. And his parents, Mr. and Mrs. Roth, thank you so much uh, for, for being with us. Um, then why don't I start off with you. Uh, what goes through, what, what a family goes through, and it's a large number of cases. And you were saying that somebody else you know very recently? My, my grandmother passed away to cancer, and I was, I, I was exposed to it at a very young age. I was about 10 years old, so this is going back 30 years. And um, I remember going straight from school to the hospital every single day because my mother was there. And the sisters would take rounds, they'd take turns during the day and night. And at that time, we didn't have the treatment that we have today. So they would take radiation and literally she didn't die of the cancer so much as the radiation just burned her lungs out. And she died of breast cancer. So treatment today is so specific. So I was exposed to it from then and as much as I could support awareness I have, and one of my closest friends just died about two years back to breast cancer. And it spread. She didn't catch it in time, so it spread, in, it spread all over to her spine, to her bones, her lymph nodes, everything. And the message I think that we try so much to get out, right, is if you catch it in time, it's not this dreaded C word because you can take care of yourself and you can avoid it. I mean, look at him.